Hello friends, just wanted to bring a little video to you again. This system that I put together, it's been together and I've started it up, it runs well. But as you can see, right now we're running lights and we got a heater connected to it, but we haven't turned it on yet, but we're gonna turn it on here in a few minutes. I just wanna take out time to show you what each individual item is on this bill. We got a Vectron Phoenix. 48 volt, 1200 watt, pure sine wave inverter. This inverter right here, it don't have MOSFETs inside of it. It's got a big transformer inside of it. This one here would do a heavy surge. Even though it say 1200 watts, it probably surge anywhere between 3000, 3500 watts on a surge power. That's the startup power on something that you may want to try to start up with it. This right here is your solar and charger what this does it pulls power from the sun and convert it to energy to charge the batteries up right here the batteries what it does and right here where your batteries connect into the system you got a positive and you got a negative and your pv what that pv stand is pv coming from the solar panel which is outside here is a switch that turns this on and off. If you want to do some maintenance work to it, that's what that does, turns the power from going from here to the solar charger. We got a couple of fuses here. I always like to put a fuse in the system. That way if something go wrong, that fuse will blow before it mess up the inverter itself. So the item up top here, is what you call a reducer. It reduces the volts from 48 volts down to 12 volts. Like if you want to run anything that runs off 12 volt, you'll be able to do it through this system. And of course, here's your on off switch to kill the whole power to the whole system. This right here is a Bluetooth device. What this does, it connect directly into the inverted itself and it tells you what watts the volts the inverter is putting out. As you can see, we're putting out 11 volts right now. And the reason it's putting out 11 volts, that's because it's running those lights. But you can also hook this item up here into the solar charger. Right underneath here, there's a piece or you can plug it in too. But we don't have it hooked up into it. And as you know, here's a Victron shunt. It tell you the voltage that was in your batteries. It tell you how long your batteries will run down before your system has to run down. And that's what that does. And of course, you can see the batteries that we got. We have Redoodle batteries. They are 12 volt batteries, but they're 140 amp hour batteries. I have four of them in series. And down on the bottom, I got another set of batteries. I have 12 volt 100 amp batteries. These are watt cycle batteries. So I got a total of eight batteries hooked in this system. So with this system here, I can connect my deep freezer, my refrigerator, run lights, and it'll run for several hours. It, I, I hooked up my refrigerator, my deep freezer to it, and it actually run it for two or three days before I actually run the batteries all the way down on it. But of course your refrigerator and your deep freezer don't run constantly, but when, whenever the temperature get to whatever you got to set it, it shuts off. And then it'll come back gone. So right now, I'm, as you can see, looking at the app, we're only pulling 12 volts. I'm getting ready to turn this heater on and I'm gonna let you see how it changed. I'm turning it on 73. All right, watch, look at that. Look at the app now. Look how the voltage change on the app. See how it's going up because it's starting to pull power from that inverter which is starting to kick out that kind of power to run that heater. It's gonna go on up because the heater is starting to get warm right now. As you can see, the heat is set on 71 degrees. And as you can see, it's steady going up. It's a 1200 watt inverter, but actually it's putting out more than 1200 volts. It's putting out 1217 volts. And uh, it's no problem with it. It's not kicking nothing. It's not giving me no kind of alert, like it's on overload protection or anything, but it's putting it out. And like I said, we got the lights are so still continue to run. I hope you like this little system that we got together. 
make a nice system to run your refrigerator, your lights, as you can see. And you can use your heater. You can use a heater as an example for your refrigerator. But it's running all the items without a problem right now. Hope you enjoy this video. Hope you give me the thumbs up. Hope you like it. Please share it with someone else. If you want to leave comments, please do that too. And I put everything item that I got in the comments of where I purchased everything through. The majority of the stuff that you are seeing right now came through Amazon. The inverters, the solar charge, the shunt, all of the on-off switches, even the batteries. The batteries didn't come from Amazon, but you can get these batteries through Amazon. But I went through the company itself and got a better price on them. Even on the redoodle batteries and also the watt cycle batteries. The watt cycle batteries and the redoodle batteries, both of them have built-in Bluetooth shunt at them. You can actually see what these batteries are doing through your Bluetooth once you download the app. And right now these batteries are on sale. I just recommend that if you're in the market for something like this or you just even want to start the small system, just get the batteries. Because right now the batteries are on sale. They're cheaper than I ever see them since I had started with messing with these uh, systems like this. When I first started with these systems, these batteries right here by themselves, just one battery will cost you know, between four or five hundred dollars for one battery. But now you can get them anywhere between 150 up to 200, 300. It all depends on what you want. I don't know how long they're gonna stay that low on the price, but I'm just saying, if you want to start a little system, you don't have to go out and get too crazy to you know to get too crazy into the system. You don't have to spend a lot of money out just to get started. You can buy one or two of these batteries if that's what you want. But also remember, if you do a 48 volt system, you gotta have four batteries to run a 48 volt system. The reason for a 48 volt system is it's, it's, it's more efficient. If you notice the wires, if you look at the wires on this 48 volt system, the wires are not that big. They're not a real big wire. You don't have to have big wires when you run a 48 volt system. But if you run a 12 volt system, you gotta run a one arc or two arc wire, and it's gonna be a big wire. It's gonna be a whole lot bigger wire, and then plus the wire gonna cost you a little bit more money versus this system. Let me give you an example with a one arc wire. If you take a look at that orange wire, how thick that orange wire, that's about how thick that one arc wire is gonna be. But but like I said, it's gonna be expensive wire. 48 volt system, like I said, is more efficient for its cost wise and it's gonna run longer with you. You don't have to worry about your wires getting hot, creating a fire, nothing like that. So you can go either way, whether you wanna do a 48 volt system or 24 volt system. 24 volt system is a nice system as well, but between the three or the 12, the 24 or the 48, I would rather go with the 24 or the 48. Now don't get me wrong, I don't have nothing against a 12 volt system. 12 volt system will work fine, but the only thing about like I was saying earlier, with the 12 volt system, you just have to run thicker wire. That's the only thing about it, thicker wire to make sure you don't get nothing overheated. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me the thumbs up on it. Thank you.